Welcome to the Bailey Rangefinder Gemini. This 26 foot lightweight construction van only weighs 2,400 kilos. It features a queen size bed at the front of the van, twin bunk beds at the rear, generous size kitchen with full size fridge, plenty of pantry space, gas cooktop, gas griller, microwave oven, a lounge that converts into a single bed also, a full ensuite, an Ibis 3 air conditioning unit that features reverse cycle heating as well, comes standard with two 105 litre water tanks, solar panel on the roof, and this particular van is a favourite for both families and couples alike. The Bailey Rangefinder Gemini has a 50mm hitch, a 12-pin electrical adapter. If your motor vehicle has a 7-pin flat or round adapter, we will provide you all the necessary conversion cables. This particular van also requires electric brakes, so if your vehicle isn't fitted with a brake controller unit, we will retrofit a portable brake controller unit for an additional small fee. This van is fitted with a breakaway safety cable system. Also included are two 9 kilo gas bottles. Please always make sure when you are travelling that the gas bottles are turned off. Once the van has been unhitched, just make sure that the van is levelled front and rear and side to side. From there, drop the stabilising legs by simply pulling the lever on the leg. The leg will simply drop. And then open up the front boot locker where you'll find a tool to wind down the stabilising leg, a jack, wheel chocks, hoses, so drinking water hose, grey water hose, power lead and cleaning equipment such as a broom, mop and dustpan. Next to the stabilising leg you'll see that there's a gas bayonet input that will allow you to run an external barbecue off the existing gas bottles on the draw bar. Please note that we don't supply the gas bayonet hose so that will be your responsibility to bring. The entry step can be extended by simply grabbing the lower step and extending that out. To separate the glass from the screen door, simply undo the latch on the bottom section, top section of the glass. Underneath the door handle there's a lever, release the lever. That will automatically separate the glass to the screen door. To re-engage the glass to the security door, simply reopen the door and it will automatically attach. Here you will find a convenient picnic table. Please note that this is weight rated to 10 kilos and no cooking is allowed on this particular shelf. Next to the picnic table there are two inputs. The one on the left is actually a TV input so you can move the inside TV externally, set it up on a table. There is a 12 volt input there's a satellite input and also a coax auxiliary input. To the right of that you'll find a 240 volt output handy for charging phones etc. To access the toilet cartridge simply open the locker. There's a green tab, lift the green tab and the toilet cartridge will slide out of the cavity quite easily. To reinstall it simply push it back into place ensuring that the green tab is secure. To empty the toilet cartridge, extend the cartridge handle and wheel the cartridge to a waste pit. Unscrew the swivel spout and empty your waste into the pit. Rinse out the cartridge and then pour approximately half a litre of water with 25 mils of toilet chemical you will find in the front boot locker. Return the swivel spout back into place, recess the handle and slide the cartridge back into place ensuring the green tab is locked into place. Close the locker, making sure that it is locked and secure prior to travel. 
External speakers are located above the side lounge window which are controlled by the radio head unit located inside the van. At the rear of the van, don't forget to drop the stabilising legs as well. Always making sure that the legs are facing backwards during travel. They are never to actually face forward, which we have found on some of the vans that have returned after hire. So please always make sure the leg is facing back towards the rear of the van. The hot water system is located at the rear of the driver's side of the van. This can be operated via LP gas or 240 volt. There is a selector switch inside the caravan which will actually run through in the next video. The water hose input for fresh water into the van is located right next to the hot water system. Simply connect, turn on the hose and you will have pressurised water automatically flowing throughout the van. If you're wanting to free camp however and need to fill your water tanks, simply connect the water hose, go inside the van, open a valve located underneath the bottom bunk and when full turn the valve back into its original position. The valve position will be shown during the next internal induction video. Here is where you connect power into your van. Please note all caravans run 15 amp power, therefore to connect your van to a power socket at home, you will need a 10 amp to 15 amp converter which can be hired through us. The power lead is located in the front boot locker and is approximately 20 meters in length. Further along the van, there are two vents. These vents are actually for the refrigerator. If rinsing down the van, please make sure you don't hose inside these particular vents because there are electrical leads located behind them. And lastly, at the front of the van on the driver's side is the external access to the other side of the boot locker. This is typically where the power lead, the grey water hose and the drinking water hose are located. That concludes the external induction. Please call us on 1300 680 035 should you require any further assistance.